The Betrayer Judas Iscariot was the disciple who betrayed Jesus with a kiss on the cheek for 30 pieces of silver. Today, we're going to be exploring one of the supposed contradictions in his death. There are two passages that talk about his death. Let's look at them. First, we look at the book of Matthew, chapter 27, verses 3 through 5, and it reads, When Judas, who had betrayed him, saw that Jesus was condemned, he was seized with remorse and returned the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders. I have sinned, he said, for I have betrayed innocent blood. What is that to us, they replied. That's your responsibility. So Judas threw the money into the temple and left. Then he went away and hanged himself. When we look at the other passage that talks about Judas' death, we look in the book of Acts chapter 1, verses 16 through 19, and it says, And said, Brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled in which the Holy Spirit spoke long ago through David concerning Judas, who served as guide for those who arrested Jesus. He was one of our number and shared in our ministry. With the payment he received for his wickedness, Judas bought a field. There he fell headlong, his body burst open, and all of his intestines spilled out. Everyone in Jerusalem heard of this, so they called that field in their language, Akeldama, that is, field of blood. So which is it? Did he die from hanging himself, or did he die by falling and his intestines spilling out? Well, the answer is that he died by hanging himself. So what about him falling? Well, one thing about the Bible is that it doesn't say that he was alive when he had fell. Well, you know, when you hang yourself, you are still hovering over the air for some time. We don't know much about the specifics, but at some point he had to come down. Either someone had cut him down, or in a way that either he, the robe, or a combination of the two brought it to the point where he just fell down. Now, the other thing is in the book of Acts, it said that he had fallen head first. Well, if he was hanged, how did he fall head first? Again, the Bible doesn't go very much into detail on how he fell, but let's say if he was cut down, maybe they were trying to hold him by the legs, they cut it, and they accidentally dropped him, so his head's going to fall head first. Or, in that case, or in a natural case, as he was falling down, he could have hit a branch where it would have oriented his body in a way that he had fallen head first. Now, there is one last thing to examine. In the book of Acts, it talks about Judas dying in a field bought with, quote, the price of his wickedness. Most likely this is referring to the silver. In Matthew it talks about how Judas threw the money into the temple. Well, which is it? Now, with this one we need to talk about how things are bought. It is possible he had bought the land from the person right before he betrayed Jesus. Well, how did he do that? He may have put down a down payment, so it is technically his, and he was likely planning on paying the rest with the 30 pieces of silver. Now, it is important to remember that 30 pieces of silver isn't something people are just going to have on hand. I haven't looked up the exact conversion rate for 30 pieces of silver in the Roman times to the modern day dollar, but from the things I've seen, it ranges from a few hundred dollars all the way into the thousands. That is my explanation. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section. Please comment on any other biblical contradictions that you would like me to go over on. Please feel free to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you'll know immediately when I'm uploading something. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a good day.